Hey there my friends, Eric Andres, your Guitar Sage here, and this video lesson is going to be my top five things that I would give every single guitar player if I could, okay? So I really racked my brain, I wrote an article recently uh, for, a, um, for a trade, and basically they wanted to know what, what five things I would give or I would bestow or that every guitar player should know basically but um, I'm saying what what I would give um, every guitar player and I want to share these with you um, it's what every guitar player has to know and I only picked five of them because there's a lot more that I would like to that I would like everybody to know that what I will I would like to give to everybody but these are the things that you gotta know okay um, and I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly first off um, I'm gonna say fretting technique picking technique uh, at least some guitar music theory direction and practice and I'll explain that and resources okay now I'm gonna explain each one of these because um, each one is crucial. So uh, obviously fretting technique, okay, it's so important that uh, that you are able to fret the guitar correctly, okay? Whether you're a jazz player or a rock player, doesn't matter what it is, you've got to get proper technique. So this is for newbies, this is for, um, for intermediate players. If your fretting technique is incorrect, if it's not good, then you're going to have issues, okay? No matter what it is that you play, what, what it is that you know. So you got to have good fretting technique. Whether you're learning that from me here on YouTube or another teacher or you're learning that in the Unstoppable uh, Guitar System, uh, my ultimate course, whatever it is, um, it's important that you have proper fretting technique, proper picking technique. Really you can break, I always say you can break guitar down into three different things. Fretting, picking, strumming, whatever you want to call it, left right hand technique, and then your knowledge, which is going to be my third thing that I talk about. So picking technique, uh, or strumming, or whatever it is that you're doing with your strumming hand, your picking hand. So important that you have these skills down, because if you don't, again, it's what Ener it's it's the energy that creates the notes. This is what creates the notes, but this is the energy that actually um, gives brings it to life. Okay, so if that's sloppy, um, everything you're doing down here could be great, but you're gonna have sloppy execution. Okay, um, okay. Third, uh, at least some basic music theory. And so what that means is at least knowing the open strings and then the name of the notes on the fretboard. The more you know about the guitar fretboard, the better it is that you're able to navigate. Um, <clears throat> I have lots of lessons on this here on YouTube and in the Unstoppable Guitar System. Um, I've heard some people say, well, I really don't need to know that. My favorite guitar player didn't know any music theory. That's your guitar, your favorite guitar player did know music theory. They may say they didn't know music theory, but they did. Otherwise, they would be just be aimlessly uh, wanking away at the guitar, okay? So they're at least coming up with patterns or something that they're used to, okay? So don't get into this mindset that knowledge is, is bad and it's gonna make you a bad guitar player. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And I've never heard a good guitar player say that. They all suck. So uh, if you're using this as an excuse, stop using it as an excuse. Learn some crap about the guitar and be a better player, okay? So I have tons of videos for you on this here, on YouTube, wherever, in my books. If you sign up at yourguitarstage.com, I'll give you these free books. I have tons of ways that you can learn music theory. At least some, okay? So I wrote here, at least some basic music theory. But again, the more you know, the better you're going to be able to navigate. Think of it like a map. If you're really good, if you have a video game that you're, that you, you know, San Andreas or whatever, um, it's like, if you know that map really well, you're able to do things that other people that don't know the map well are able to do. So the guitar fretboard is your map, okay? Gotta know it. All right, um, direction and practice schedule. Okay, so what I mean by this, and this is a really super important one. In fact, these last two are the most important ones. Um, direction and practice schedule. Knowing what it is that you want to do on the guitar is so important, okay? Um, if it's that you want to be a great studio musician, you're going to have a whole different skill set than somebody who just wants to play campfire songs or someone who wants to just get up at blues jams and be able to just wow everybody, okay? If you took an amazing player like uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, who is an amazing blues player, <clears throat> he may not do very well in a country setting, even though he's a fantastic blues player. Or if you were to take 
um, Ingve Malmsteen, uh, one of my favorite guitar players, and set him up in Nashville to play with some of these country pickers, he's not going to do very well. In fact, he's going to do horribly. Um, I would think. I've never seen the guy chicken pick. Maybe he's fantastic at it. He just hadn't showed us that yet. But basically, you have a focus, and maybe your focus is to be very, very uh, versatile, very good at a lot of things. Uh, but whatever it is, have some direction, have some understanding what it is that you want to do and why is it that you want to do it. Those sorts of things are really going to help because every single time you pick up the guitar, if you're reminded of those, you're going to play the guitar a certain way. You're going to practice a certain way. If you don't have no direction, you're going to aimlessly just be kind of noodling at it. And that may be okay for you. You may be just like, whatever, I just want to noodle at the guitar. I don't want to have to think, bro. That's fine, bro don't have to think, then just pick up the guitar and do whatever you want. But you can't complain that you're not moving forward if you don't have some direction, okay? Oh, and then practice schedule. So if you're not picking up and practicing the guitar regularly, you're not gonna get better at it. Maybe you don't wanna get better at it. Probably not, you wouldn't have got this far in the video. So I'm assuming you wanna get better at the instruments, so do I. So you gotta have some sort of practice schedule. For me, it's anytime I can pick up the instrument. Um, if you want to pick the guitar up for an hour a day, then do that. If an hour of the day, if an hour a day is not getting you far enough, you might think you might want to pick it up more, two hours a day. But get a practice schedule. And lastly, number five is resources. You got to have resources to advance yourself as a as a instrumentalist. Um, I have lots of resources. I have other guitar players. I have other songs. I have other guitar teachers, guitar teachers that teach me about things. I have a jazz guy that I've been getting together with over the years. Um, if I see someone who's super good at a particular something, I'll pull them aside. I don't care if they're younger or older than me. It doesn't matter. I want to learn. No ego. Please show me how to do this. And it's important that you do that, okay? Uh, books. Um, online. I love learning online from really great courses because I can fast forward, I can skip stuff that I don't, that I know already, I can slow stuff down that I don't know already, so online courses are great. Obviously I have my own course, you can check that out for a buck, the link is below. Uh, but whatever the resources are, uh, whether it's YouTube for free here um, with lots of distractions and what have you, or it's a paid course, or it's a one-on-one -on -one teacher, if you can afford it and it's a good teacher, then great. There's some hacks out there, as there are in anything, uh, any field. But um, even from hacks, sometimes you could learn stuff. So it's just expensive doing one-on-one -on -one lessons. So all that being said, you got to have some great resources. Make sure you do. All right, my friends, that's it. I'm Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage. If you have any questions about guitar, questions below, comments below, um, Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff, I'm here to help you. Uh, please let me know how I can help. Please, spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another. We can change this world. Don't trust the man. See ya.